2000 subscribers, 2000 volgers. That's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Hi everyone, so this is kind of a celebration vlog. Uh, <laughs> Last week I was kind of looking every day at the amount of subscribers which was slowly getting to 2000 and um, then it reached 2000. It's a little bit above it now. So that's really really cool. So I want to thank you all for like following my videos, being there. It kind of you know started as a joke a few years ago. Uh, yeah it is a blind ideal fiets weer. Oh. Yeah, there are some rain droppers on the lens, volgens mij. You know, it wasn't going really well with the magazines and newspapers in the Netherlands. Like, that's my, my job. I work, as you know, as a freelance journalist and photographer. And again, they were cutting money. And, you know, I was like, I'm going to start vlogging. I'm going to start with YouTube. That's my new career. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Nou, we zijn uh, hier op de kaart. Waar is dat? Nou ja, buiten Gent. We hebben eigenlijk niet zoveel van Gent gezien. Maar we zijn uh, vandaag in Gent aangekomen. En we zijn gelijk weggefietst. Ja, je hoort nu misschien een beetje vrachtwagens op de achtergrond. Of course, it's not that easy. It's, it doesn't like, it's not like, oh, you start on YouTube and that's your new career. Um, there's a lot of people on YouTube. When I started, there were not so many cyclists on YouTube. Now they are. Um, the cyclists with big, like with a lot of followers, are mostly really adventurers. They go on world trips. I go on world trips as well, but not that I'm cycling for months and months and months. I'm more, you know, I think more easy. Like you know, I go on. I love cycling. It's really my lifestyle. But I always, you know, I go for a few days, sometimes a few weeks, maybe two months the most. And then I, I will my, always like to be home as well. Live in a beautiful, beautiful surroundings. I don't know, I started to really love making videos. Start filming with a full frame camera. I got a drone. I, I, I just really loved it. I mean, I love cycling. Some people are like, why do you make all these videos? Just enjoy the moment. But for me, that's, that is enjoying the moment. I just really love to capture those moments, to look for, you know, beautiful ways of, to film something. That's really my passion. I love it. And I sometimes just cycle, but I just always miss my camera, so it's just something I, re I really love and I don't mind if I'm going 7 kilometers an hour. Uh, no. Push, 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 push. And yes, it was possible to make it even harder for us. Oh my ball. But yeah, there have been moments as well that I thought, why am I doing this? Because it takes a lot of time. Uh, I tried to do that video once a week. And at the start, it took me more than a day to edit a video. Now, sometimes I can do it in less hours, maybe four or five, but still it's a lot of work. And sometimes I was like, why am I doing that? Why am I doing this? But then it's actually your comments really that keep me going. I got some really nice messages of people saying, for example, like now it's kind of a hard time, you know, with the whole uh, virus going on, pandemic. But then I get messages from people saying, oh, it's great, it's great to get some positive news, to see something nice in this time, you know, a beautiful landscape, cycling, positive energy. Uh, sometimes when I get those messages, I'm a bit depressed myself. I'm like, oh. But then I get those and that, that really, really keeps me going. So thank you all there for, you know, being there, following me. And I hope you will keep watching my videos. Um, yeah, I was thinking I want to do something special for this celebration vlog. I mean, 2000 
subscribers and I thought okay I'm going to do this little little thing you can win <laughs> so I'm going like one person I'm going to give away one of my photos and print it in the size you want well I'm not going to print it um, like five meters long <laughs> but more like this and then I'm going to send that to you so if you go to my photo shelter page which I will link below then you can well the winner can pick a picture uh, anyone you want maybe well, like a beautiful landscape something with a bicycle whatever you prefer and then I will print that out for you of course not for my printer but in like a shop <laughs> and I will send it to you so all you have to do is put a comment below doesn't matter what well it would be nice if it's something nice <laughs> that would be nice yes uh, and then I just will choose one winner um, I will send it to you so that's a little thing I hope you like that I'm uh, yeah like I started working as, as a writer and now I'm more and more into the photography and uh, I love it because writing I don't always like writing writing is like really really hard work sometimes it is it's I'm all, like if it's finished the story I'm so mostly I'm happy with it and I'm just happy with the hard work but it can take two full days for me to write one story of a thousand words I mean it's sometimes a real sh struggle <laughs> and making videos and photography it's it's more um, official thing you don't have to think as much well a different way you know what I mean I mean when you're writing you're really in your brain and with photography it's more um, an emotional thing I guess it's more like oh this is beautiful and you, you look but it's it's such a different thing so I love that combination um, of course I'm still writing as well it's still my my job there's some new things coming up sorry I'm talking so much but uh, there's some new things coming up uh, yeah like there's something going to happen with my bike <laughs> with my bicycle I will tell you more about that there's some uh, nice col collaborations coming up so um, yeah thank you thank you thank you for being there and for your comments really they 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 made this year a bit easier like sometimes I was a bit like why like I said like why but because I I didn't have work for a few months but then I got a lot of work and then in the weekends I'm doing these videos but the positivity I received back that that just means so much and uh, I just love promoting cycling um, I love to promote uh, show how beautiful the Netherlands is and soon hopefully other countries I think cycling can really change the world can make it better um, I became a journalist to make the world better and I didn't know how um, now I'm all it's all about cycling uh, uh, just cycling is such a good thing you know you get to know people well you see the landscape it's much better for the environment than a car it's a lifestyle and I think people who cycle they also know um, they also look at the environment a bit more than other people do when you cycle you can't avoid it basically so this was my philosophy <laughs> video <laughs> uh, yeah thanks thanks again and uh, I'll see you next week time for some droning I think thanks happy cycling and see you soon Bye. Hey jongens, ik fiets hier in Nicaragua. Aan warmte geen gebrek hier. Sorry jongens, daar in het koude Nederland. Maar it is well hard work. Jaska is dead. Yeah. This is what I needed. It's hot. Oh man. 
it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Hi. We're at Coney Island. Coney Island. And now we're here at the other side of the Hudson River cycling lanes. I'm in Horsens in Denmark, in eastern Jutland. And I'm staying at the city campsite, which is located on the fjord, the lake. The thunderstorms are kind of freaking me out. Always have to be careful with those things. Rabbits. That's what this island and the lava is famous for. And you cycle over here, you can see rabbit holes everywhere. People, <laughs> Milgi. Toen ik vroeg aan mensen wat moet ik in deze vlog vertellen, zeiden heel veel mensen die vermoeidheid, die pijn. Daar ben je op een gegeven moment aan. Maar als het moe zijn, dat is inderdaad wel drama. So yes, I do have fibromyalgia. And yes, sometimes it's really, really hard. Those parts are not always in my vlogs, but that's why I want to make sometimes a video in between to show what it is to live with fibromyalgia. Een grote blubbersooi. The the road was closed because of construction, so we took this walking cycling path. It goes straight through Waterland. That's the name of the area over here. The water level is very high, so it's pretty wet, but. Uh, yeah, it's a real adventure, just just above Amsterdam. And now the boat is coming. It's a, it's a leuke plek om af te sluiten here, mooi terras. And uh, yeah, I have erg genoten van de route vandaag. Ja, bijna de hele route is dicht bij het water. And as you vaak in my filmpjes gezien hebben, dan weten jullie dat waanzinnig van water hou. Wow, that was really, really nice. Much much nicer than I expected. I, I live in Schoonhoven for three years now and I never went for a swimmer in the morning. There's swans and geese were flying over. I could hear the cuckoo, cuckoo. That's a steep hill. 